class with me. <laughs> I hope everyone's doing well and enjoying this time at home. <laughs> um, doing the best we can, right? Trying to fill the time, focusing on things we can control, like yoga. So let's get started. Find a nice, easy, seated position, something you can hold and begin to close the eyes. Letting go of the day or anything that came before this. And just focusing in on your practice. Focusing in on the breath. We're gonna work a different type of breathing style today called capybara breathing. It really engages the core. And it's a little strange, so, but you're at home. So no one has to see you do this. I'll demo for you. So you're gonna inhale through the nose. Big exhale through the mouth. One more big breath like that. And on this next exhale, you're gonna only inhale about halfway. And you're gonna do short, quick, little breaths. What we're doing here is actually building heat in the body and warming up the core for practice. So inhale halfway. Exhaling. Inhaling halfway. I just stressed out my dog really bad. <laughs> so we're gonna do that three more times. I'm gonna try to do it with you, but I'm also gonna try to count for you. So we're gonna try to do that for about 10 seconds, three rounds, okay? So let's go inhale halfway and exhale. Exhale deeply. Inhale halfway and go. Exhale. I'm sorry, my cats are, everyone's really concerned. One more time, guys. Inhale. And last round, capybara breathing. And exhale. Beautiful. So if you found it weird, found it different, the animals found it different, then you don't have to do it ever again. But it's, I want to teach you guys different things yoga has to offer. And I always feel refreshed when I do it. You can do it quickly throughout the day. Just one round of capybara breathing. Maybe in the work day, in the afternoon. When you're maybe a little, feeling a little lag. Instead of you know that candy bar or coffee, you can do a few rounds of that breath. So back to our center. Breathing in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Now that we're warmed up a little bit. Go ahead and set your intention for your practice. Something you hope to get out of it today. And I want you guys to think about something you might want to change. Maybe there's nothing you want to change, but maybe there's something you've always wanted to do, something you've always wanted to try. And I want you to keep that in the back of your head. Maybe a life goal you've been wanting to accomplish, a career move vacation, expanding your family, whatever it is, I want you to keep that in the back of your mind today as we go through practice. Just kind of set that intention of what you're hoping to maybe have or achieve or do one day. All right, a couple inhales and exhales. Setting that intention. move to tabletop. So from tabletop position, we'll start to warm up the spine here. Our core should be kind of turned on from that breathing practice we did. So we'll start to have joint stack, neutral spine, round the spine for calf, drop the belly for cow. You guys should be familiar with this now. A few more rounds. Remember you can always add your own movement here. 
few more rounds. And then from here, return to that neutral position. Go ahead and send your left foot to the outside of the mat. And then your hand can kind of go up in the corner to support your body weight. And you're just going to roll over, open the hip, open the shoulder. Other side, so you're going to move the right foot. Maybe move the hand out a little bit. Let the left foot come behind you. Open this side of the body. Do a few more of these. We'll try to do three more each side. Gentle pause at the top. We're still warming up. Sinking every movement with breath. One more each side. Turn to tabletop, moving through bird dog on the right side. So move the right leg behind you. Keep the foot flexed like you're kicking the wall behind you. And open that left arm. If you feel good here, you can start to take some crunches. Three on this side. If this is too challenging, just hold the position. Moving on to the other side, extend that left leg. Remember to keep your hips squared off. Extend the right arm. Take those crunches or hold the position. Beautiful return to tabletop, cat cow. Beautiful from here, tuck the toes, send the heels back, down dog. One breath here, and then roll the spine slowly into plank. Back to down dog. Roll into plank. Last time, down dog. All the way to plank. Beautiful. Hold here for three, two, one. Hug the elbows in. Lower down as slow as you can. Untuck all ten toes. Baby cobra. Push the palms. Push the cups. The feet into the mat. Strong back here. Inhale. Exhale. Lower down. Tuck the toes. Push up. High plank. Then find down dog. From here, send the right foot high. Bring your right knee to your right elbow. Right foot high, knee to nose. Or as best as you can do. I can't quite get there. Right foot high, right knee to left elbow. Really twist through the ribs here. Just get as high as you can. Right knee to right shoulder. Just the hardest one, do your best. And then send the foot all the way through high lunge. So this is too much, too fast. Bring that back knee down. If you got this, just hold the back leg up. Remember, knee is always over heel. We'll open to the right. Back to center, open to the left. Back to center, twist. So bring your left palm to the inside of the foot. Now, if you need a block or something to bring the mat to you, it's perfectly fine. You don't want to be hunched over, right? And then open through the shoulder. Beautiful, guys. Deep breath. Frame the foot. Step back, high plank. This time we're going to take a chaturanga. Hug the elbows in. Lower halfway for three, two, one. Untuck the toes. Push up. High cobra. Beautiful. Lower, lower down. Lower down all the way. Tuck the toes, push up, high plank. Down dog, awesome. Same thing on the other side. Left foot goes high, bring your knee to your nose. Left foot goes high, knee to left elbow. Left foot goes high, twist, knee to right elbow. Left foot goes high, knee to left shoulder. And then send it all the way through, high lunge. Good, twisting to the left, back to center, twisting to the right. Back to center, finding your twist on this side, using a block if you need it. You may notice one side is more open than the other. Just take a mental note of that, that's normal. 
open up, this time bring the foot, step up, forward fold, hang heavy, find opposite elbows. And then reverse swan dive up, extended mountain, reach your back, gentle back bend, folding forward, frame the feet, step back, high plank, taking your flow, chaturanga, this time take an up dog if you're ready, just having the thighs off the mat, and then down dog. So that was our flow, we should feel pretty warm. Remember you can always take child's pose whenever you need a break. Forehead to the mat, hips to heels. You can also just hold down dog whenever we take breaks to keep your practice more active today. All right, let's get started. Bring your right foot to your right thumb, warrior one. Remember, hips are squared off to the front. Right knee is tracking over the toes. This back foot is at a 45 degree angle. Shoulders are by the ears. Don't tense up, right? Relax. <laughs> Create space between your ear and your shoulder. Beautiful guys, open up, warrior two. Picking that twisting again, framing the foot, spinning the heel towards the line with the leg, twisting high. If you didn't already elevate your leg the first time, go ahead and try it now. You're ready. Frame the foot, this time step up, forward fold. Inhale, sweep high. Exhale, fold deeper. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold, jump, or step back. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Beautiful left foot to left thumb. Warrior one, spin open, warrior two. Windmill the hands down, frame the foot, spin that back heel around. High crescent, going into that twist. Frame the foot. This time, step up again. Forward fold. Bring the toes together as long as it feels comfortable. Sweep high. Sit low. Chair pose. Remember, you should be able to see your toes and your knees are maybe one fluid line. Beautiful. Fold forward. Inhale, jump or step back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Right foot goes to right thumb, high crescent lunge. Working a lot of quad strength today. <laughs> Inhale, exhale, fold forward. So we're not collapsing. We're staying active in our abdominal muscles, okay? Hands are face, palms are facing down. Neck is in line with shoulders. Sweep high, fold forward. Sweep high. Fold forward. Sweep high. Frame the foot. This time step up. Forward fold. Inhale. Sweep tall. I'm going to face you guys. We're going to take chair pose. Hey, buddy, come here. They have to see me. Good job. So we're going to sit here. We're going to take a twist. So if, if chair pose is already really hard for you, just hold chair pose. If you want to up it a little bit, take your left elbow to your right thigh, try to hook it, and then push the hands into each other, twisting through the ribs. The goal is to get your thumbs to your sternum. Ugh, a little hard. Do your best. Return to center. Twist to the other side. You're pretty boy. Yeah. This is Duke. I don't know if you guys have met Duke yet. He's a good boy. You're the goodest boy. Yes. Back to center, beautiful guys. Fold forward. Hang heavy, flat back. Fold deeper. Jumper step back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Awesome, awesome work. Send the right foot to the right thumb. Warrior one. Spin open, warrior two. This time reversing the warrior, right palm goes up and then back. Beautiful, back to warrior two, extended side angle. So right elbow goes to right thigh. You can hang out here or send the arm towards the front room. 
the front of the room. You really want to up the abdominal work and shoulder opening. Extend both arms, extending the pointer fingers, interlacing the thumbs. Back to warrior two, take it two more times. Either elbow to thigh or both arms. Beautiful, back to warrior two. Last time, extended side angle. Warrior two, awesome. Windmill the hand down, frame the foot. Step back, take a flow. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Left foot goes to the left thumb, warrior one. Spin open, warrior two. Left palm goes up and then back, reverse the warrior. So when you reverse the warrior, you can make a little half bind like I did on the other side. Then the hand rests on the back. You can let it track down the leg to really open the side body. Just don't put a lot of pressure on your knee. Have the hand on the thigh or the shin. Make sure that knee stays bent though in the front. Don't cheat the pose. So you're in the reverse warrior. Extended side angle. Decide if you want to hold with the thigh. We're be super active today. Reversing the warrior two more times. Extended side angle. Reversing the warrior one more time, guys. Extended side angle. Back to warrior two. Windmill the hands down. This time, step up. You guys got it. Chair pose. This time, challenge yourself to sit a little deeper. A little deeper. Keep that chest up. And fold forward. Beautiful. Flat back. Fold deeper. Sweep high. Back bend. So with back bending, it's always coming from the core and the thighs. You can just take a gentle back bend. You can also leave your hands on your low back. If you want to go back farther, feel free. Just make sure you're engaging your core and your thighs. And fold forward. Jump or float back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. One breath here. Take a child's pose if you need it. Get water. Or just remain active and down dog. Deep breaths. Check in with your breathing. And beautiful. Right foot goes to right thumb. Bring this left foot up just a little bit. Subtle bend in the knee, interlace the hands on the low back, come up slowly. We're going to take a forward fold here. So fold over the right leg, keep a subtle bend in the knee, and just hang out here. You can go deeper and deeper if you want. You should feel an opening in the back of the leg. You guys are doing awesome. A little restorative posture here. Good, come up slowly, slowly, slowly. Send the arms overhead, then fold forward, frame the foot, kick up into the right leg, left foot goes high, standing split. So even here, don't completely walk out the leg, settle bend in the knee. And it's gonna look more like a standing L for a lot of people. <laughs> That's okay, it's normal. Holding here, three, two, one. Left leg comes down. Crescent lunge, holding, holding, holding. Three, two, one, warrior three. Woo, you guys did it. Kick stand that left foot, stay active. Hold in prayer or find steeple mudra. You guys got this. Shoulders are by the ears. Much focus, much control for three, two, one. Frame the foot, Bubba. Left foot comes down. Right foot's gonna stay elevated for a one-legged flow. Chaturanga, up dog. One-legged down dog, hold here. Bend the knee if you want and flip your dog or just hold that three-legged dog, finding a hip opener. You're on reverse tabletop or wild thing. Bring the hips down. Spin back over, one-legged dog, two-legged dog, deep breath here. 
child's pose if you need it or stay active. Beautiful guys. Go ahead and send the left foot to the left thumb. Bring this right foot up just a little bit. Settle bend the knee. Interlace the hands on the low back. Come up slowly and start to hinge forward. Opening the back of the leg. A few breaths here, just opening the body before we do some more intense things. You guys are doing great. And then come up slowly, beautiful arms overhead. Frame the foot, kick stand up, standing split. You guys are killing it. You may notice one side is more difficult than the other. That's okay. Three, two, one. Back leg comes down straight into crescent lunge. You guys got this. We're gonna go into that warrior three on this side. Three, two, one. Go straight into it. Find your control. Squeeze your core, engage this leg. When you feel ready, Maybe take airplane arms, steeple mudra. Keep holding. It's all about your breath. It's all about your focus. Beautiful. Bring the hands down. Right foot comes down. One legged flow. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Stay here or bend the knee. Start to find that hip opener and flip your dog. Maybe going into wild thing. Beautiful. Bring the hips down, twist back over. Down dog or child's pose for a few breaths. Awesome guys. We're gonna do a little bit more balancing. Start to walk the hands to the back of the mat. If you're in child's pose, just make your way to a tabletop and then go ahead and stand up. We're gonna take gorilla. So bend the knees as much as you need. Palms go under the feet. Just hang here, bend the knees if you need. And then with every exhale, send the legs straighter and straighter. Almost there. Bend the knees a lot here and then sweep tall. Finding mountain pose. a foundational pose. Feeling your weight equally distributed here. A couple of breaths. Good. So from here we're going to take Eagle. Eagle is great for the hips and the shoulders. So interlace the hands overhead. Right arm goes under left, hooking at the elbows, hooking at the wrist. Bend this left knee as much as you need. And then send the right leg up and over, squeezing the thighs together. Your toes may be able to hook. They may not, they look like me, that's totally fine. Keep holding, you guys got this. Keep holding. All right, another warrior three, eagle arms. So stay here and then start to extend that back leg. Great for ankle mobility. Great for building foot strength. And then back to mountain. Deep breath here. Other side, so this time arms go overhead. Left arm goes under right, hooking at the elbows, hooking at the wrist. Bend that right knee, left leg goes up and over, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep holding, keep holding. You guys got this. Back door. Focus on something in front, front of you. Focus on your dristy. And then transition, warrior three. Building foot and ankle strength. Beautiful. Back to mountain. One more series for balancing. We'll do tree. Send your awareness to your right leg and start to open the hip. 
maybe finding some foot time. If you've got this down, we can start working some more advanced things. I always take half lotus, holding here, maybe finding branches for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, back to mountain. Awesome work, guys. Sending your awareness to your left leg, opening that right hip, and then whatever variation you took on the other side, try to take it here, finding half lotus, and then maybe finding branches for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, mountain. Awesome work, guys. Very balanced, very focused, so cool. All right, guys, so we're in the back of the mat. You're gonna pivot once to the right. Oh, hi, my other dog's joining today. So you're gonna take a wide-legged step out. Toes are in front of you. We're gonna work caustic squats, working ankle mobility still. So if you don't quite have this, if your heels come up, just don't go as far. So if you're just here today, that's okay. You're gonna get better as long as you keep working this. If you can kind of get down, but your heel comes up, just work to kind of sit the heel back. All right, so we're gonna do 10 total, five each side. Let's go. Left side, I'm already here. We'll start with this side and then switch. That's three, four, five, they can't see me, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10, go to the left side, hang out here. If this is challenging, work on getting yourself lower. If you can already get here and you support yourself, that's fine. If you can get air time, if your heel's grounded and you feel good, you can take a twist. So left arm goes in the front, right hand goes behind you. Maybe you can grab the fingertips. I'm, I did it, I'm there. Holding for three, two, one, switch sides. Try not to use your hands if you have to, no problem. Same thing on this side. Twisting around, can you do it? You try. Holding for three, two, one, beautiful, come back up, arms overhead, forward fold. If you have a dog in front of you, just kiss her. Tell her she's a good girl. You wanna keep that back nice and flat. If you feel any rounding, use something. You can use your dog, a block, a yoga mat, whatever you need. And you're gonna start to send your head lower and lower. Maybe you can grab opposite feet. And then go ahead and pop back up into the fingertips and we'll take a twist. So left hand goes in front of you, right hand to the hip. Start to extend that right arm. Remember, we always wanna keep our hips squared off. And then the other side. Beautiful, let's take it again. Really opening through the ribs. So a lot of people initiate with the hips. Really think about the ribs here. And then the other side. Oh, good. I'm already feeling it open more. Hopefully you did too. And then back to center. So from here, guys, Depends on what you want to do. You can work in the opening again, forward fold. If you want to take tripod headstand, go right ahead. For tripod headstand, hey, go over here. Go. Over there, that's fine. Do whatever you want. So you're gonna, you're already in that forward fold position. You're just gonna start to send the head towards the ground and get the knees on the tricep. You may just sit here working this. You can try one leg at a time. 
and then maybe two legs. Pause the video to have more time. Go right ahead. So with that, we'll take one last flow, or not our last one, but one quick flow. And then we'll all meet in down dog. From here, send the right foot to the right thumb. Back knee comes down. We're gonna work a back bend here. So if you have back issues or don't really want to do a lot of deep back bending, leave your hands on your low back. And everyone can kind of start there too. So you can start to send the gaze back, using your core, using your thigh strength, staying here, supporting the back, or begin to unweave the arms to make this more muscular. Staying with it. And then folding forward, extending that front leg, half split. Beautiful. Back to center. Another back bend. Folding forward, half split. This time taking full split if you have it. So even if you don't have it all the way to the ground, you can go halfway like this. Some people like to put a block between them between them and the mat. And then eventually you'll get deeper and deeper and you'll be able to sit all the way down. Or close to that. Holding for three, two, one. Send your weight to the left, right foot swings behind you. Flow, if you want. Or just sweep me in down, dog. Beautiful, left foot to left thumb. Low lunge here, sitting the arms high, starting with the hands on the low back. Back bend, strong, strong core. You've got to stay active. If you feel pinching, come out of it. Maybe extending the arms. Good, bring the hands down, frame the foot, half split. Good, back to your lunge, another back bend here. Back to framing the foot, half split, or some kind of full split variation. Beautiful guys, stay with it. Good, send your weight to the right, swing that leg behind you. Taking a flow. We're all meeting down dog. Good, from here, walk your feet to your hands. You're in the middle of the mat, hanging heavy, moving into crow. Remember, you can always take flying frog. That's that wide-legged position. And just finding some air time here. Crow, the knees are on the triceps. Wherever you are in your practice, just take a few breaths here to play. And if you have no interest in that, we'll work a yoga squat, sitting low, using the elbows to open the thighs here. So either way, you can find frog or crow or just find a hip opener. A few breaths. If you want more time, you guys can totally pause the video. If you're an avid crower, if you got crow down completely, you can do a jump back in the chaturanga. I think I can do that right now. So you're here, and you land in chaturanga arms. Take your flow. Beautiful, guys. Go ahead and bring your knees to the mat. Knees go as wide as the mat. We'll just take a humble warrior. A little breath here. Good. 
peaceful warrior, not humble warrior. All right, guys, walking the hands up. All right, it's time for some core work. So you're sitting hips to heels right now. Just find your sit bones. And we're gonna do some yoga pulses, kind of as our warm up. Then we're gonna do some other things. So lay on your back, send your feet to the sky. We're gonna pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Send your feet, hands onto the right side. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Other side. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Roll up. Woo. Straight into boat pose for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax. Good, swing the feet around you. So a couple options here. I would like us to be in high plank and bring our knees to our elbows. If you don't quite have that, just do your best. If you gotta bring the foot down, that's fine. Okay. Tabata, you guys' his favorite. Um, getting my timer out, so we're gonna do Six rounds, 20 on, 10 off of those mountain climbers, okay? I have a bad feeling about this. All right, let's go. High plank and go. 20 seconds. Find a pace you can hold. Almost there, guys. Three. And rest. 10 second rest. Three. And go, 20 seconds. Stay with it, stay with it. seconds right here. Stay with it. And rest. Halfway. Got three more sets. It's a minute total. Two more sets, 20 seconds each round. Three. All right, here we go. 20 seconds. Peaceful warrior, deep breaths. 
Good job, everyone. Let your heart rate come down. So we worked one side of the core. Get water if you need it, guys. Take a little breath here. We're gonna work the other side now. So go ahead and make your way to your stomachs. And we're gonna take locust pose. So you're on your stomach. Palms are facing down, neck is in line with shoulders. You're gonna unweight the back and the legs. We're gonna hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Left cheek to the mat. I know, she's so needy. I don't know if you guys can tell. All right, others. So do two more sets, prepare, and let's go for 10, nine, eight, make sure your chest is higher than your legs for six, five, four, three, two, release, right cheek to the mat, big toes touch, palms are facing up. We got one more set, guys. One more set. And let's go. For 10, two from here. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whatever side of the neck is tighter, let that cheek rest. Just let your heart rate come down, deep breath. Good job, guys. Little back strengthener there. So from here, you guys can pop up onto the knees. We're gonna take cowboy or cowgirl, gender neutral. Knees are as wide as the mat here, big toes are touching. The hands will rest behind you, fingertips towards the back of the room. So if you're already feeling this in the shoulders and hips, stay here. Or you can start to push your hips towards the sky. Keeping the neck in line with shoulders for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and just fold forward, humble warrior. Awesome guys. Since we have so many dogs in this video, we'll go ahead and take puppy dog pose. So puppy dog pose is like child pose, except you reach the hands out a little farther and you leave the hips high. And start with the forehead. If this feels okay, you can work the chin. And then eventually you can, dig, you can go into heart melting where the whole chest touches the ground. I'm not capable of that. Don't force anything. Holding here for a few breaths. Beautiful. Walking the hands up, bringing the hips to the heels, taking rabbit. So we've taken rabbit before, but I'll kind of review it again. With rabbit, you're tucking the chin and you're gonna bring the top of the head towards the mat as if you're gonna, you're gonna leave space, as if I could get a piece of paper between your head and the mat, but not a lot of space. And you're gonna grab the heels. And then if this feels a lot, you can keep it here or you can actively push the full back opener. Good, walk the hands up. Finding your sit bones. We'll bring the feet together. Butterfly. So you'll start to bring your forehead to your feet. You can stay here. I, it's as far as I can go. Some of you might have the same problem. Let's we'll hold for about two more breaths. Good. So we're gonna take cow facing or half cow facing. You guys are gonna make fun of me for this one, so 
be kind. So you're gonna bring the right foot to the left knee and have it flush. So if you're this tight where this knee is this high up, this means your hips are really tight like me. You might work out like lifting weights or run. I have a desk job. I do all the above, so my hips are tight. That's why we do yoga, right? So you can stay here. If you're someone that's knee is flush, you can try to get this foot here. You can do it post it and tagging. I would be really happy to see you guys do it. So, okay, buddy, go over there. Go. Here, right here's a great place. Yeah, right there. Lay down. Lay down. Good job. Petco class paid off. All right, so you're gonna start to push the knee down if you're this tight, okay? And we're just gonna hold for 10, nine, eight. You're gonna start to walk the hands out. Ooh, really intense for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come up slowly. Good. So switch the grip. So let this left foot goes on the right knee. Don't put it on the actual knee joint, like on the, the meaty part of the leg. So if you could get the foot here, do that again, or start to apply some pressure to the thigh, trying to get that leg down for 10, nine, eight. You can start to walk the hands out to deepen this stretch. For seven, this is intense guys, six, five, four, three, two, and walk up. Woo! Good job, frog. So with this one, you're kick standing the feet. The big toe is touching the mat, the knees are wide. You're gonna walk the hands out and then send the hips back. I promise nothing is breaking. Holding for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Whew. Good job, guys. Go ahead and find your sit bones. Send the feet out in front of you. Come here, good. And then we'll just take a little pipe pose before we go to our backs. So folding forward, holding for a few breaths. Guys, it's so good. We're gonna start to wind down class. Good, come up all the way, arms overhead, hands go in front of you. Tuck the elbows in, make sure you have room behind you and then find your back. Bring the sole of the right foot on the mat, left foot goes on top of the right thigh. You're gonna grab behind the right thigh, pull the legs into the body, figure four. It's just a more restorative version of pigeon pose. So if you do pigeon a lot and hurt your knees, this is a great option for you. And then switch sides. And then release the feet down. So from here, you have the knees bent, both soles and feet are on the mat. You're gonna let the right knee fall in towards the left leg. And then if this already feels intense on the hip, just hold here. If you want to intensify, don't put that left foot on top of the right thigh. And then switch sides.
good. Bringing the soles of the feet together, letting the feet find the mat, the knees fall open for a reclined bound angle. One hand can go on the hip, one on the heart. Returning back to that intention you said at the beginning of class. Something you've been hoping to do, accomplish, see. Something your heart longs for. Setting that intention that you will get there. You will achieve it. You will do that thing you've been wanting to do, whatever it is. here I invite you to take any other little posture and movement you've been wanting to take that maybe we missed today. Any final stretching or movement. Maybe banana pose or a lumbar stretch. And we'll start to make our way to Shavasana. Traditionally, each heel goes in each corner and the palms rest beside you facing up. You can always just lay on your side or have the knees up. If you have low back pain, and then keeping the eyes closed, remaining in Shavasana. Your body's found that comfortable position. Send your awareness back to your breath. Controlling your breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And then letting it return to that normal breathing. Deep breaths. No control here, just pure relaxation. If a thought enters your mind, let it flow freely past you. Knowing that everything you did tonight was perfect. Begin to wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes, coming back to awareness. And then roll to the right side of the body and just hang out there for a minute in the fetal position, keeping the eyes closed. For what it's worth, it's never too late, or in my case, too early, 
to be whoever you want to be. There's no time limit. Stop whenever you want. You can change or stay the same. There are no rules to this thing. We can make, make the, me the best or the worst of it. And I hope you make the best of it. And I hope you see things that startle you. I hope you feel things you've never felt before. I hope you meet people with a different point of view. I hope you live a life you're proud of. And if you find that you're not, I hope you have the courage to start all over again. This is taken from The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Begin to open the eyes and make your way to a seated position. I hope you had a wonderful practice. Thank you for hanging out with me and all my crazy animals. I hope you do that thing that you've been wanting to do with all my love. Namaste.